was built as a demonstration of how a microcontroller works and kind of what it can do. Um, so a microcontroller, you know, basically like a small, inexpensive computer. Um, so I've written my Arduino code for it and stored it on this Arduino Pro Mini. And the Pro Mini is stored in the back here. Um, so this is a more in-depth look at what the hardware looks like that's all inside of the backpack. Um, so the Arduino is communicating um, output into these LEDs here. And it's also talking to some servos that are in the back and to a proximity sensor that's up here in the head. So the proximity sensor uh, is triggered when an optic gets close to it. So if an optic, like if your hand, comes up close to the sensor, the microcontroller reads the signal from the sensor and then tells the motors to move and uh, the lights to change. Are these real nice? Uh, they're... that's alright. That's very uh, dangerous. Yeah. Okay, it's plastic. Yeah, they're just plastic, <laughs> yeah. researcher so this is more my hobby um, but I, I mean I really love Arduino because so I learned how to use Arduino because I realized one day that I really wanted to learn how to do things like programming hardware and um, you know making motors move and lights change um, and the way that the initial projects that I started out with were kind of costume -y sort of projects because I needed a sandbox to play in before a serious thing and so um, this costume on the back Wow. That's modeled after the Arduino Pro Mini and the Arduino um, Mini that are here. Okay. And it's sort of like an homage to those because I use those almost every day in my work. Hardware itself, that probably took like a couple of weeks. But the thing about wearables is that um, since a lot of the joints are soldered, um, clothes flex a lot. And so there's often a lot of repairs that have to be done in the soldered joints. Um, so there was a, a couple of weeks devoted to the electronics itself, and then all of the hardware and the housing, that was like um, three or four weeks. Okay. So um, together, like about a month and a half. Um, so I mean, I'm biased because I use a lot of Arduino projects for my actual science work. So um, I, what I use for a lot of material characterization and the engineering work that I do is an Arduino-powered uh, conductance measurement. So that helps me measure material properties in a lot of the engineering work that I do. So uh, that in particular has to be my favorite because I actually use it every day.